Hello, my name is Captain Frank White with the Newport News Fire Department Marine Incident Response Team. We're here at the Newport News Midtown Pool today to teach our firefighters how to drown-proof themselves in their firefighter turnout gear. Today we're utilizing the Newport News Midtown Community Pool. This training is extremely important because it gives the firefighters a way out should they find themselves in the water in a panic situation. The first scenario we'll discuss today is a firefighter in full PPE. Important points to remember here is that the firefighters stay calm in the water to minimize thrashing about. Secondly, you want to keep your feet up and maintain again that bubble that's trapped in your boots. Also, you want to gain the attention of the people along the shore or the dock. Have them try to throw a line to you, and when you get that line, have them pull you. Don't, again, thrash about, move or swim, or you'll just make yourself negatively buoyant. The second scenario presented is a firefighter also in PPE, but this time with a composite bottle and SCBA maps. Important points to remember here, again as before, don't try to take any equipment or clothing off. You're just going to sink yourself and lose your air pocket. Also, the composite bottle will be a positive flotation device. However, you will find yourself more likely floating face down. Here you can use your SCBA mask as a breathing device. However, you may notice it pull rather hard or a mechanical stuttering noise from the device. But again, you can breathe. Again, you don't want to try to take any equipment off. You certainly don't want to try and take the bottle off. It's going to aid you, not only as positive flotation, but as a breathing vehicle. Unlikely event you find yourself underwater with your turnout gear and your SCVA on. Again, you'll be able to breathe with your SCVA easily to a depth of about 14 feet. But important points again to remember, it may breathe hard, pull hard, and you may hear a stuttering noise, but you will be able to breathe again to about a depth of 14 to 15 feet. Also keep in mind, You'll have no visibility, so it will be conditions very similar to being in the smokehouse. The third scenario presented will be, again, a firefighter in full PPE, composite tank and mask, underwater, but this time facing one of the more serious concerns to most divers, that is of a mask flood. This is a panic scenario, but again, clear thinking and pre-planning will get you through this. You'll use your bypass valve to clear the mask. For instructional purposes, you'll see this being done on the surface. However, keep in mind, it can be done underwater, again using the bypass valve to clear the mask. In conclusion, important points to repeat. First, stay calm. Don't panic and maintain your air pocket inside your PPE. Secondly, don't remove any gear. It'll aid you and oftentimes will be a positive flotation assistance. Thirdly, gain someone's attention. When they throw you a line, let them pull you to shore. Don't swim yourself to shore on the line.